Another glass of wine, ma'am. Oh, no thanks. Excuse me, miss. Ah, uh, hello. I couldn't help but notice that you were here by yourself. My name is Sebastian. Can I join you and possibly buy you a drink? Um, sure. I was supposed to be meeting someone here called Skeeter. Oh, I'm so sorry to hear that. Are you sure you don't mind? No, it's fine. My friend has been trying to hook me up with Skeeter for ages. He works away a lot and to be honest, this is the third time he has stood me up. Please feel free to keep me company. Well, a beautiful girl like you deserves to be treated better than that. Thanks. My name is Lucy. It's a pleasure to meet you. Likewise. Barkeep, a glass of your finest for the lady, please. Why, thanks. Just a beer, please. Make it a Carlton. I don't want any of that EB or Swan Draft shit. So, tell me about yourself. What do you do? Hopefully you're loaded, you better be, to pay for drinks in Perth. Well, Lucy, I'm a big shot mining man myself so I can afford it, just. Really? Mining? Yes, I work at a small site about a two-day ride east of Newman. The only way to get there is by camel or horse. I prefer the look and feel of a camel, though. That sounds interesting. Well, it is, although the flies are really bad around their asses and the smell drives most people insane, but I really enjoy it. That's the worst part, the lack of females on site. It turns most of the men gay. But hey, it's the 21st century and almost all minds actively encourage a bit of man-on-man -man love. It is the only exercise most of the men get. Gee, it sounds tough. Do you have a trade and? Are you gay, if it's not a personal question? I don't really have a trade as such, but I'm sort of like a mechanic. I drive around in a truck filling generators with diesel and make I sure the camp toilets don't block. I wouldn't call myself gay just yet but I hope to be one day. Mining camps are practically men only swingers clubs these days. But let's face it. All the ladies that work on mines look like chopper reed. I hope the toilets don't block too often. They do quite often but I'm getting used to the smell and taste of it plus I get paid $80,000 a year to do it. So a little bit of turd here and there is bearable. Wow, 80000 I only earn 30000 and I work my arse off for it, literally. I'd love to get paid that much one day. That's not all about my job. I also get four days off every fortnight. I could get you a job out there driving trucks, if you wanted. This may seem a little strange but... I'm sick of being stood up by ourselves like Skeeter and earning next to nothing. Would you like to leave this place now and come back to my house? I really think you are sweet and maybe I can persuade you from... Turning into a fudge packer. We can talk about work after breakfast, in bed. Lucy, it would make my day. I didn't expect to lose my virginity tonight. Please lead the way. Uh, hey. Now hold on there my niggas. Are you Lucy? You are one mega hot bitch. Kate said you had great tits but those guns are fucking bogus. I'd like to tap that ass. Excuse me, you can't speak like that in here. Fuck up, faggot. Yes I'm Lucy. You must be Skeeter. Kate said you were a character. She didn't say you were a complete wanker. Fucking oath I'm the Skeeter. Who is this little pindic homo cunt that's trying to get a fuck off you? Fuck the little cunt stinks. I'm Sebastian actually and I'm taking real offense to the way you are treating Lucy and myself. There is no need for such shocking behavior. Oh, here we go. Look mate I'm more than happy to start flogging the piss out of you right now. I've just finished skull fucking some tarts out in my limo, so I'm warmed up and ready to go cunt. Oh my god you smell like fucking camel shit. Oh this is ridiculous. You are a real jerk Skeeter. Lucy, I smell fine. Don't I? Lucy. Oh. Um, maybe just a little. It's really not that bad. Don't let this arsehole get to you. Let's leave. Let me guess you are one of those dirty camel fuckers from out New Men Way. Judging by that red dust in your hair and the stains on your crutch I'm tipping you have mounted your fair share. You couldn't possibly think this slut here is going to go anywhere near your small pathetic cock.
You couldn't even get a pack of gins on heat near that thing it smells so bad. You might get a Pilbara princess to suck the shit off it, but you're in Perth now. Get fucked. I'm not the only one that does it. There isn't many options once you fly out of Perth. What? Lucy, I can explain. Most onshore people generally engage in these sorts of acts. That is until we find another burly man to satisfy us. Skeeter, why don't you enlighten us as to what makes you so special? Mate, I've just come back from a two-week stint roughnecking on an offshore platform. I haven't got time for small shits like you. I'm just here to fight and to fuck. And snort a few lines, down a bottle of jacks and book some flights, so I can start spreading my love cream on some Asian slit. Offshore? It all makes sense if you are from offshore. Seaman Rusi, we don't need to hear any more from this arrogant prick. I've heard about these offshore folks and, trust me, you don't want to get involved with them. They may have lots of cash, flash cars, designer clothes and bodies like Greek gods, but they can't have a sweet and beautiful girl such as you. Let's go. Oh Sebastian, that is one of the sweetest things anybody has ever said to me. But what I need right now is for you to go over to that microphone stand, grab hold of it and shove it up your arse. I think we are done here. What? Lucy, surely you can't mean that. He's a super mental fucktard. Listen you filthy onshore bung Arab. Even if you didn't fuck camels, I wouldn't pass up an opportunity to have the back smashed out of me by an offshore cunt. Oh um, my gash is throbbing in anticipation. No holes are off limits tonight. Great call Lucy, you naughty little bitch. Get your g-banger off and go wait with the other girls in the limo. I'm going to help this dirty onshore cunt with the microphone. Fuck yeah, fucking offshore workers, mate. At least I still have my camel.